Look at this. Right here. Right here, you stop it. Yeah. See? He, he, he's known though. No worries. He just gave you the bird. I just, like, <laughs> I'm used to it, man. You know how many times I get flicked off uh, in this thing? So what's up, man? How are you? I am exhausted. Yeah? But uh, life is good. Life That's is good, you know? I always say the alternative could be so much worse. Like, it could be boring. Yeah, well, you know. Boring would suck. A lot of us, most of us have really nothing to complain about. Couldn't, couldn't so, be more. Yeah. And you're, you're headed out soon, no? I, you? Saturday, I leave for Ethiopia. Wow. Which is kind of like my craziness right now. And how long are you gone for? Uh, four weeks. I'm back uh, May, end of May. Oh, sorry, second week of May. That's crazy, man. So, I mean, it's funny how... Did you ever think that travel would be such an integral part of your career? You know, it, it's... If you look back, you kind of can piece the pieces together. Right. Makes sense. You know, connect the dots. So, no, and certainly not going to Africa, Ethiopia, of all places. Yeah, right? India, but it's kind of just evolved into this amazing show. I mean, just this ama amazing, you know, kind of life of, you know, connecting with people through food. I mean, it's, it's been really, really neat. Would you say that, you know, based on that, that that's really what helped chefs enter this new era of food, is really leaving their own walls and traveling to the, it's almost like that higher education. No, for know? sure. I mean, you know, when you leave the comforts of, let's take it beyond the restaurant, yeah. or your community, your city, your country, and it pushes you to kind of see a different technique, a different way of cooking. I mean, when I went to India, aside from, I mean, in three years, I was in India five times, cumulatively for 26 weeks. Wow. What do you feel like eating today, by the way? I'm in the mood for a khaki. Okay, you know. There's one place I know of. Right? Yeah. Is that the one? Yeah, I, which one are you? Uh, uh, I, I think you're around the corner. I was going to say, is that it? The young and blue one? Is That's that where it. you want to go? Do you want a double double? You you make it how how I should eat it. Well, I just tell me. I, I love my feet. You're not going to wimp out. No, no, I won't wimp out. Okay, so I got one spicy for me. Okay. And I'm eating for you. Okay, that's with, good. With hot sauce on the side. All right, so okay. if I feel like it needs a little shot. Absolutely, you go for no, it. No, that's good, I like that. I like to add my heat as I go. I would say that because of the immigrants, and the immigrant kind of being able to retain their kind of cultural identity, that some of the food here, Yeah dare I say it, is as good as back in the homeland. I mean, although pizza in Naples is pizza. In Next Naples. level, yeah. I used to be so embarrassed going to school because, you know, here in Canada, we actually take bag lunches to school. And I remember my mom was green, you know, back in the day. You know, she believed in recycling. Now it's trendy. Yeah. yeah Before yeah. she was just being a, an immigrant. Yeah, he was like, well, my God, this bag is still exactly, good. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, she would have the Nino Keep de Marisa. Keep it going, yeah. She would have the Nino de Marisa uh, oh uh, my know, God. Uh, bread bag. Uh, you know, the brown bread I bag. Love those, I and love that she would bread. reuse it. Oh, my God. And there would be oil all over. And I remember, and I love food. I mean, yeah. you know, being young, I would always eat. And so, at the risk of getting my head kicked in, right, by, by my waspy friends, I would eat it anyway God. because I loved it. And I remember, you know, the oil dripping down my arm, oil falling on my desk that when we started like, to what's do the smell? What's <laughs> the smell? when we started to do our work, there'd be oil stains on all my on all my papers. Oh and, my god, and that's it's hilarious. So funny. I remember my buddy Mark Johnson and you know the funny thing about Mark and I, you know, we love sports and all that. Yeah. But he had a pet rabbit. You know that they had as a family pet. We had rabbits in the backyard oh my that would God. land on our table for dinner. Right. And so I remember the first time he Jeez. came over for lunch, and with his family, it was a Sunday lunch. You know, my mom makes the, the rabbit. And these are like, proper kind of days that have come they're over. They're like, like Wonder Bread wasps, yeah. right? I mean Johnson, right? God right. bless them. Yeah. Love them. We're, we're still good friends now. So Mark and his parents were over, and. Uh, my mom made rabbit a la, la cachadora with a little bit of white wine, little tomatoes, uh, you know, uh, and all that. So I had a bit of red sauce. Mark's eating, I'm eating. 
Mrs. Rocco, this chicken is really good. <laughs> no, no, sweetheart, it's rabbit. He starts crying. I start crying. Oh, wow, you're my embarrassing. God. It was like, it was oh, the worst. Oh, my God. If you've had, had to, the most memorable <clears throat> meal of your life, yeah. where was it? Truly the most memorable meal I've ever had. And to this day, it's just, it, it was like having dialogue with God. Yeah. It's a chef named Mariana Vitale. Okay. In Naples. She okay. has a restaurant named Sud. Okay. S U D, Sud. So south. Yeah, south. Right. And literally, it was just this explosion of flavors and flavor profiles. We talk about it, but what does that mean? Yeah. It was, and her whole concept was reinventing comfort food into unexpected in an unexpected way. It yeah. was done. In, in... Hello? Yeah, that is just my mom. Did you eat? This is your mom? Yeah. Bro, yeah. Drink no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> it was truly one of those memorable meals that, you know, just took me back to my childhood, but even brought me to other places. And uh, yeah, she's, and she's like young. She's like 33. Wow. She's, she's brilliant. She's absolutely brilliant. I'm so looking for a place around here. Oh, it's up there. Okay, yeah, it's it's, a, it's called Butter Chicken Roti. So it's... Holy shit, we're having more? Yeah, yeah this is just... We just only had one, half a meal. Why didn't I... Pace yourself? Yeah. Rookie move. It was a rookie move. <laughs>two rotis, okay? Butter chicken roti. Pull this. Feel how heavy that is. That's just two of them. Ooh. How am I going to eat and drive this? Yeah, but you know what? Oh. Here's what we do. Why don't you watch me? Okay. <laughs> yeah. me. I can feed you, kind of like Ethiopia. Okay. okay. This is uh, my nonna's dream right I'm now. getting fed by David <laughs> Rocco. My daddy's got some potatoes, okay. some chicken for you. Just give it a blow. You know? Matt, Who when you, I Matt, can go. When you, like, what's your last meal dream dish? Like because I'm dying or because? Yeah, because well, you're dying. You're going to let your chair. You're, yeah. You're, I don't know. You're. I, I don't think know. I'm. A you know, it's, it's the last meal question, right? So if I had to, maybe like I'd make like two things going on at the same time. I would love a nice, beautiful porterhouse steak, two inches cooked medium rare, you know, and then with a little side of rigatoni with white beans. You know, it's funny because that's kind of like my answer. I always say a really good burger. Yeah. Dessert Mr. David Rocco, this Thank has you. been my pleasure today, it's man. It's been fun. Have a, have a great time in Africa. And uh, Chivadama, yeah. right? Ciao, Bella. Grazie, Carlo. Be well, okay? Grazie. Okay. Tell your mom I say hi. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I like when I was in India, you know, the spice market. <laughs> I can just slip the cat. <laughs> There's some fucking cat here all on my heel. Oh, my heel. God, that's the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> 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 what kind of animal do to his life? <laughs>